Welcome back to RC101 with the Daiwa Flyer. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. We're going to take a look at the quad pod quad rotor from Snowflake. If you remember, Snowflake gave us the alien jump jet a few years back, and they really know how to do quad rotors. I have to say, this is an amazing aircraft. The uh, kit includes everything you need to get up in the air, except for the battery and the receiver. I'm using an AR600 Spectrum receiver and my Spectrum DX5E transmitter. The battery that I'm using is a FlightTech 800 milliamp 3 cell 11.1 volt LiPo. Now my flight times have been about 15 or so minutes and I have to say the flight is just absolutely amazing. The kit took me about an hour to put together and by the way there's no soldering, there's no gluing, just a couple of screws and you're up in the air. And I have to say as soon as I lifted up into the air it was just as stable as could be, it was like it was born there. This aircraft is a joy to fly. It was so much fun. I just, I, I, I haven't flown anything that, that is as stable as this, that is as fast as this, and that's as precise as this aircraft is. When it comes to doing aerial video, this is really the way to go. Now you can go out and you can buy a nice RC helicopter, but you're going to have to deal with the vibrations from the engines. If you crash it, you're going to have to deal with all types of repairs. You crash something like this, you're pretty much back up in the air five to ten minutes um, most of the parts on here are really really easily serviceable to you know even the most novice RC helicopter pilot um, it is a four channel aircraft it does have a fifth channel for heading hold on it um, now when it comes to uh, aerial video I was able to get it to carry a uh, FCO3 pan tilt camera but I usually just use a uh, 808 keychain camera velcro to the top I have to say I really enjoyed flying this aircraft. Um, with RC helicopters you get a lot of instabilities that you have to fight, but with this quad rotor it's, it's completely balanced, it's a lot of fun. It is fast when you want it to be, it is slow and precise when you want it to be, 
I've even been able to get a few aerobatics out of it. I was able to get a nice loop out of it. I have to get pretty high, but um, you can get it to do a nice little loop. It's a lot of fun, I have to say. If you're looking for a good aerial platform, you want a small quad rotor, something that's easy to put together, the Quad Pod is for you. It's from Snell Flight. It retails for about 199 pounds. That's about 400 US dollars. Um, you can pick up a Spectrum AR600 receiver and a Flight Tech battery from them as well. They really know how to do quad rotors. They know stability like no one else. The three gyros on board help keep this thing as stable as a rock through your entire flight. It does what you tell it to do when you tell it to do it. It's a lot of fun and I definitely say if you have a chance, check out the quad pod from Snowflat. You won't be sorry that you did. Thanks for tuning in to RC101 with the Dallas Flyer. Tune in for the latest, greatest RC aircraft videos.